Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at uh, Nolan. This coach uh, asked me to take a look and see if there's anything that uh, might help him out here at the late season. You can see as he's coming through, he's uh, not really accelerating the discus. It's all one speed coming around. And then uh, he's not really hitting that high point with the discus at 6 o'clock. Right here the discus is low and as we come in we want to raise that discus so his orbit is actually the reverse of what it should be. This um, discus, shoulder, right shoulder should be up higher, left shoulder, left arm should be down lower. So he's uh, reversed and uh, what he needs to do is as he comes in bring that discus up higher. Okay. right here as he's coming around it looks like he's looks like the discus is in line with his shoulders right here he's kind of carrying it forward you need to get that discus back behind the shoulder the uh, right shoulder is also ahead of this right hip so you want to from the right hip you want to get this right shoulder behind it then you want this discus behind that all right so watching the sweep leg coming in he never really extends the leg it's bent the whole way Okay, so you want to get that leg out wide to maximize your inertia, maximize your radius, just like you're doing with the left arm. You, and then here, as, it, uh, as the left foot's starting to come off and you're starting to turn into the center, you want to get that right foot underneath the knee. So as the foot's behind the knee here. Like right here, he's keeping it back behind. So you want to get that knee, go from a, a leading with the foot to leading with the knee, with the foot right below it. Then he just kind of steps into the circle right here. So there's the, uh, he's got no uh, flight time at all or any time without any support. He's always has uh, at least one foot on the ground. Okay, so this leaves the left foot way behind, so it takes a long time to get to the front. Okay, let's watch. I'm trying to see if the right foot, hard to see with all the netting. Looks like they got double netting there, so that's good for safety. I can't tell, but we want to make sure that right heel doesn't drop onto the ground. So you can keep uh, rotating. And then uh, right here, where the hips are just about here, where the hips are facing the back of the circle, um, you've got no separation. So you, you want the hips facing 12, you want the chest facing and the shoulders facing that way toward this uh, bar right here, this pole at uh, 3 o'clock. So right now you've got the chest and the uh, hips pretty much all square so you have no separation there. You get a lot of distance if you can uh, get those hips ahead of the shoulders. And you can see the, uh, the, the high spot right here, the, the discus is quite low. And then he's going to throw from that position just straight across. Okay, so right here in the power position, just when the left toes come down, this is good. You've got both knees out, both feet out, uh, left knees not too blocked off. Um, but you want your upper body at the hips leaning back a little bit more here. You want to feel almost like you're keeping the shoulders located right here, but the hips rotate around rather than you see how the upper body is coming forward. You have to keep that upper body back because what ends up happening is now you're throwing with your hip, your shoulders, chest, and front of your hips. Okay. Hard to see. Almost looks like a. No, it looks okay. I thought maybe he was uh, letting the discus go backwards, but he's fine. Okay. So right here, you want to try to keep that right hip on top of that foot. You don't want to shift these hips forward. See how far ahead, and this uh, left leg is now vertical. Okay, you want to keep your hips on top of the uh, right foot as much as you can, but uh, ex you want to block that left leg right here where it's bent. You want to block it and push that left hip back, and the right hip will accelerate forward. Okay, and then we already talked about uh, not having a forward lean, but actually a backward lean from this left foot back a little bit. And that'll create your angle. 
So right here, yeah, the chest is facing pretty much downward and the arm is not really going up. It's just going, eh, here, I guess it's going up a little bit here. Almost looked like it was going horizontal to start. The discus doesn't look too bad. You can see it uh, kind of tail off where the, uh, the left edge is lower. You want to try to get that right edge down. By, uh, that all depends on your release. You can see it uh, kind of peel over right here to the left edge down. It's kind of small out there in the distance. But uh, real quick, that's about all I had. I know he's uh, probably got some major meets coming up here. We're looking to try to get the maximum distance, so uh, I won't go into any more detail. All right, uh, you get any more videos or you have any practice videos you want me to take a look at, go ahead and uh, let me know. Uh, direct message me. Um, anyone watching, if you think this is interesting and you learned something, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, thank you.